Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video, I hope under five minutes, that will help every pastor, no matter what your age. Now, I've been in ministry for almost 30 years, and a long, long time of that, I was an evangelist. And I've learned a few things over the years that will help everyone. That's If you're in ministry, if you're a song writer, singer, uh, choir director, this will help everybody. Now, if you're a, a preacher, a minister, or an evangelist, then you need this worse than anybody. And I promise you when I'm done, you'll completely understand it. So, whenever you have an, an engagement to preach, whether it's in a church or any place, and you have, a, you have a certain amount of time to get the message out. Now, here's a reality. God's going to give the Holy Spirit to you. If He tells you to preach, He's going to give you the Holy Spirit for a length of time. Remember, Jesus is the head of the church, and he decides this. So the Holy Spirit's going to be there for X amount of time. And he's only going to be there for a certain X amount of time. And so many times, preachers think that the time that they stand there is how long the Spirit's going to stay there. And it's just not true. And that's why in the church years ago, in the old church, if a pastor, a preacher, an evangelist went too long, the singers would start singing you down. Because you you left the spirit a long time ago, and they need to sing you down. So the only way that I can I know to illustrate that is with this. This board, sorry about the mic. This board represents how much time you have to preach. You have all this time right here to get the message out. As God leads you, this little blue area right here is a time for altar call, or a time for people that are weak or sick or they need time to pray. The Holy Spirit's going to work in this amount of time. So just imagine this as a clock, an hour clock. And it's going to the Holy Spirit's going to stop right here. Just because you go long-winded, just because you're happy, just because you're excited doesn't mean the Holy Spirit is going to go past the time he says it's complete. So what you have to do as a pastor, preacher, evangelist is to, to be able to understand this time frame. This time frame isn't determined by you and it isn't determined by how much of a message you think you have. This is how much time the Holy Spirit's going to give you. So this little blue area right here, blue green area, whatever color that is, that's your time to do an altar call. If you preach past this and you're preached out here and then you give an altar call, then your altar call is probably not going to work. You're not gonna, you've already lost the people. They're already starting to do their bank book. They're going to the bathroom. They're looking somewhere else. The, if, especially if it's a lost person. They're gonna have, you're going to have their attention through this time span. This time right here. If you go past it because you got happy and got in the flesh and started preaching on your, your own message, or as my pastor would say, if you preach more than 20 or 30 minutes, unless the Lord guides you, you're started on your second message and you've lost them. They're gone. Literally, I have been in services where evangelists would preach and they'd preach past this time and center people would literally get up and leave the church. Now, here's the thing. Can you imagine how devastating it is for a, a, a center person that doesn't know God come to church, they come to here, they're ready to be saved because this is how it happened with me. I wanted to get saved and I went there for that purpose. But if they would have sang, oversung the songs and if they'd have preached it until the Spirit was gone and then tried to get people to come to the altar without the drawing of the Holy Spirit, I would have never gotten saved. So, remember that piece of board. Let me see it. On this board, this is how much time you have. You've got this much time. And if you go past the blue area, you're, you've lost them. They're gone. And it's your fault. That's the problem. We need to be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You have this time period to get your job done. It doesn't matter how happy you are, and it doesn't matter how much you got carried away. It's your responsibility to figure out how the Holy, how long the Holy Spirit's going to move. If you do that, people will get saved. If you fail at it, then you're just going to wear people out, and then you're going to not see very many people saved at all. This is how, by the will of God, that I I have seen thousands upon thousands of people saved, baptized through this simple concept. 
that I learned from my elders. This is your time frame. Get the job done. And don't start on your second sermon. I promise you, if you listen to the Lord, not to Lee, listen to the Lord. He'll tell you when to start and when to stop. He'll tell you when to do the altar call, and he'll tell you exactly how to do it. I went a little over five minutes, but that's my message. I love you. Pastors, preachers, evangelists, teachers, singers, I love you. This message is out of love, but it's out of correction too. So I take it in the spirit in which I'm giving it in love, and I promise your, your ministry will increase and it'll grow just because you're listening to the Lord. Remember the stick. Remember the blue line. I promise you it'll make you better. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> remember, I love you whoever you are and whatever ministry you're in. This channel, this video is for you out of love. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Keep preaching, singing, praying, shouting. We're almost home. Bye.